Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Dusky and we're here playing a little Battlefield 1 and I decided today I'm gonna tell you guys the story of the time I almost drowned. I almost drowned in a lake once, okay? So basically this happened when I was a little kid, so a long, long time ago. I don't actually remember what age I was, but I was with my family and we always used to go to this lake called Ruth Lake. It's in California if anybody actually knows where that is. It's like hands down my favorite lake to go to. I always used to love going to that place. We used to go out there, you know, camp out on the side of the lake. One of my dad's friends had a a cabin up there and we used to always stay with them and yeah it was just awesome okay so it was a really fun place to go i have so many memories from when i was a kid there Nah, boy, nah! And we had speed boats, jet skis, all kinds of stuff. Well, I don't know if we had jet skis back then, but we did have speed boats. You know, it's always fun jumping in the speed boat, cruising down the lake, just finding some cool places to go. We used to stop at, like, different docks along the lake. We had, like, a bunch of friends all over the lake, so we could just, you know, pretty much go anywhere and know somebody. Or at least, you know, my dad and his friends did. Like, I didn't really know him. I was a little kid, you know what I mean? But there was always something to do at this lake. Well, I remember this one time we went all the way up the lake to the part of the lake to where you couldn't actually go fast anymore. It was, like, it was only, like, a five-mile-an-hour zone, which is boring by the way like why would i really want to go five miles an hour in a boat on a lake like my, like seriously like, like if it's me i'm going full throttle stopped at one of those docks i was talking about my dad you know knew the people that owned the dock so you know the grown-ups were doing the grown-up thing they were off you know drinking doing their thing i don't even know where they were this was so long ago all i remember is my sister was jumping off the dock into the lake over and over and over and over again and i you know me being a little kid i was like oh that's so cool she was a really good swimmer at the time me being a little kid i i i was not okay i i had no idea how to swim i was just a little little nipper okay i didn't know how to swim yet i did have a life jacket on but for some reason and i don't know why i did not actually have the thing like buckled on me so it was just kind of like on me but not actually like secured on you know i was walking on the side of the dock and then i don't know if it was me that jumped or i fell i think i fell off honestly i don't really remember i'm i don't really remember for 100 but i'm pretty sure i fell off i fell like off into the lake and like as soon as i hit the water i started freaking out because i had no idea how to swim and this water was deep man i mean it was like i don't even know how deep it was but it was way over my head okay it had to have at least been like 10 feet deep or something like that and i was probably like three feet high <laughs> like how tall i am now i'm like six foot i couldn't even touch the bottom now okay and i don't know if anybody knows this but like if you're wearing a life jacket and it's not buckled up and you jump in the water the flotation of it just lifts it up and literally like lifts the entire life jacket off of you so it doesn't do any good at all if it's not buckled on okay so i pretty much just slipped out of this thing and i wasn't even in it anymore i don't even know what happened to that life jacket so i started freaking out flailing and like screaming i don't know if i was actually screaming i think i was i'm pretty sure i was actually i remember all the adults that were like up the bank a little bit like running over be like oh my god he fell in and at that point my survival instincts they kicked in okay i 100 grabbed onto my sister and i was like she is my floaty device and i would not let go i like i grabbed onto her head i was like nope and like me not really realizing it i was actually pushing her underwater so i was like drowning my sister to keep myself from drowning okay now that i look back at it that is so terrible I, i'm sorry sister i i honestly i'm sorry okay like i was scared i was scared I was little and I had no idea how to swim. I mean, she was a pretty good swimmer, but she she couldn't swim for the both of us. This went on for like a minute or two. Like I seriously was just holding onto her as a floaty. She was trying to get me off of her so she could breathe. The adults were trying to get me out of the water so I wasn't drowning her and I wasn't drowning. It was just a terrible experience through and through. Can I get him through the thing? Oh, I can. I remember that day like really vividly, honestly. Die, bitch, die! Yeah, you come in here trying to bayonet me? I ain't playing around with these boys. What's up? My teammate had me back. Oh, shit, I'm dead. The grenades, you, you just can't escape them sometimes. So yeah, if there's really anything to take from this story, it's uh, don't use your sister as a flotation device, okay? Don't drown your sister to save yourself like me. Dude, that sounds so terrible. I love my sister. I would never try to drown her on purpose, okay? I promise. Oh, and also, if you don't know how to swim, Wear a life jacket and buckle the dang thing, okay? Buckle it, because it will actually save you if you fall in. Unlike my sister did. My sister actually did try to save me, to be honest. Like, she did try to help. Like, she wasn't just trying to, like, save herself. I mean, I don't even remember what happened after I got out of the water. I just remember I, I, I got pulled out and, uh... Yeah, and everybody was like, wow, that just happened. All right, well, I didn't really do much in this video as far as playing Battlefield 1 goes, but hey, I just wanted to tell that story. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave me a like or a comment or both. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night or whenever you're watching this. And like always, I'm Dusky and later. Goddamn, goddamn, you be sexy, girl. Looking at your body and I know you make my world. Goddamn, goddamn, the way you move your hips, every way you move your body sends me on a fucking trip. Goddamn, goddamn, you be sexy, girl. Looking at your body and I know you make my world.